to the next session on ANSYS CFD tutorials. In this session, we will analyze the branch pipe for its fluent analysis. We will start by double clicking on fluid flow fluent. I have the geometry made with me, so I'll directly right click here. and import the geometry. I'll go to geometry once again because I want to add the fluid here. You can see here one part one body. So we need to add the fluid in between. So I'll go to tools, fill. It is asking for the faces. So this is the first face. Then I'll press the control button and select the other faces. So you can see here all three of them have been selected. Then I'll click on apply and generate. Now you can see there are two parts, two bodies. This is the outer one. So I'll rename this as wall. And this is the inner fluid. So I'll rename this as fluid itself. So here the geometry completes. I can close this window now. Then I'll go to mesh and double click. I'll first go to mesh. Here the default size is 0 0.11054 meter. So I'll set this to 0 0.01 meter and generate. So now you can see the meshing is done. Now I will name the inlet and the outlet. So in this analysis, I am choosing this as the inlet 1. This is the inlet 2. And this is the inlet 3. I am choosing this end as the outlet. And this is the wall. You can see the name selections here. Just go to mesh and update once again. The mesh translation was successful. So close the window. I'll go to setup and double click now. I'll choose double position. Start. I'll first go to gravity. Along the y axis, I'll get the value as minus 9.81 meter per second square. Then I'll go to materials, fluid, and double click on air. Fluid database. I'll choose the material as water liquid. Copy and close. Then I'll go to solid and double click on aluminium. Fluent database. I'll change material type to solid and choose steel. Copy and close it. Once this is done, I'll go to cell zone conditions. Fluid. I'll double click on fluid. Material name, I'll change it to water liquid, apply and close it. Solid wall, I'll change this material to steel, apply, 
close. So once the cell zone conditions are given, I'll go to boundary conditions. Inlet. For the first inlet, I'll give the value of velocity as say 2.5 meters per second. Apply and close. For the second inlet, I'll give the value as 2.7 meters per second. And for the third one, I'll give this value as 2.9 meters per second. Apply and close. So I've given the boundary conditions for the inlet. Then I'll go to reference values. I'll compute from inlet 1. Reference zone is a fluid. Then I'll go to initialization and double click here. Standard initialization. I'll compute from all zones and then click on initialize then I'll go to calculation activities auto save every iteration I will give here the value as 50 ok so once this is done I'll go to run calculations I'll give the number of iterations as say 500 and calculate so now the calculations are complete. You can see the results here also if you want. I'll just show you. You can go to graphics, contours. Here I want to see contour of pressure. I'll change static to dynamic pressure. I'll select contact region TRG, save display. So here you can see the result and here are the values. The highest value is 5.16 into 10 raised to 4 Pascal. That is in this zone you can see here and these are the minimum pressure zones. The value is 2.05 into 10 raised to 1 that is 20.5 Pascal in these zones. So that's how you can read the results from here. Now, if you want to see another contour, I'll double click here. I'll change pressure to velocity. Contact region TRG. Save display. So here you can see the value of velocity. In certain zones it is more and most of the cases you can see it is blue in color. If you want to see a detailed one, we will go to the results tab. So just close this. Okay. So you get back to the main screen, double click on results. So once you are on this screen, you will go to inlet 1, double click on it, go to render, change the transparency to 0 0.9 and apply. Then do the same for inlet 2, 3, outlet, wall wall and wall 1. Now once this is done, I'll go and click on streamline, okay, I'll start from, now there are three inlets, so I'll click here and select all the three inlets by pressing the control button, okay, and apply. Now I want to see the animated version of this, so I'll click on animation. I'll change the type to sweep animation. I'll select streamline 1. I'll remove the forever loop and I'll change this to 3 repetitions and play. So you can see here the fluid is entering from all the 3 inlets. 
and then leaving from the outlet. The velocity, the first one was 2.5, which is the minimum one, so it is moving the slowest. This is 2.7 and this was 2.9. So accordingly, they are moving in the pipe. So once you're done with the streamline flow, you can just remove the stick, go to contour, create contour 1. Here I'll change this value to contact region TRG. I want to see the pressure local applied. Now you can see this contour line, so just go to render and remove, show contour line, apply. You can see the maximum pressure is 44740.7 Pascal, which you can read from here also. This is in these zones and little bit over here also. This is little orangish here, so it is 3.702 into 10 raised to 4 Pascal. And the minimum value is minus 32496.3 Pascal. This is vacuum pressure. It will be at these bends. So you can just check here. This is blue. And in these zones also you will find a bit of blue color. Which means there is vacuum in these bend area. Now let's check the velocity. So I will again remove the tick from here. Such that contour 1 is not visible. I will create contour 2. I will change this region to contact region TRG. Pressure I'll change to velocity and global to local. Then I'll go to render and remove the tick for show contour lines and apply. So you can see here the maximum velocity is 9.8 meters per second. This is in red so you can see here a little bit in these bend areas and here red. This color is orangish so this is 8.862 meters per second. The minimum value is 0 0.1028. You can read your meters per second. That is here in these zones. So in certain areas where your velocity is less, your pressure is going to be more. In fact, the higher the velocity, less is the accumulation of fluid in the zone and hence the pressure is going to reduce. But if the velocity is less, that means there is accumulation and that leads to pressure. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood this analysis of branch pipe. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.